Hello everyone, I am Lumi, your guide in this 100% walkthrough of The Witness and um, as promised we will get to do this town area finally but first I want to correct one of my mistakes from uh, the seventh part where I actually missed and left behind one puzzle that uh, well is uh, not vital for the progression but is one that will count for uh, the total puzzle count at the end and uh, if we wouldn't have done it then it would have come to bite me in the ass because I would look at the count and damn I'm missing one puzzle so I'm just taking you straight to the quarry where I actually missed it just noticed it uh, when I was doing some uh, editing afterwards incidentally I also showed it um, with an annotation in the video but there is a um, recording that you can pick up and here is the puzzle that we have missed now again we see a machine icon the color of the machine icon doesn't matter we just need to have one failure and we need to start in either one of these separate blacks from white and we need to get all the hexagons. It's something we know already. Now I can separate these black ones but then I won't be able to get both hexagons here so I separate it like so then I actually am uh, capable. Now I'm getting all the whites and the blacks are being separated as you can see except for one black which will create a mistake for the machine icon. It was this one and this is solved easily. I'll skip ahead, I'll go back to town and see you in a moment. So we are back in town and uh, I would like to take this occasion to apologize if you'll hear some machinery go, uh, going outside of my home but there's nothing I can do about that. Well let's hope it won't be heard in the microphone. Now I just wanted to show you this uh, statue which uh, seems to be juggling some stones if you look at the shadow. Uh, just an interesting fact and let's uh, get up this uh, church tower and we will be able to I believe uh, find the recording here and perform an environmental puzzle if we are watching from this out of this broken wall flash window there is one environmental heading straight for the pillar which incidentally has also another recording next to it now, maybe I want to go to this kind of... Uh, it seems like a teaching area, but it isn't. It is uh, one testing our skills on Tetrominoes, which we can, uh, well, shift around, because it's an inclined one, as you can see, so we could... Uh, ah, getting all messed up with my mouse. We could have it like so, but as you know, we want to get all the hexagons otherwise it doesn't work and if we do it like so we won't be able to get this corner one <coughs> so the way I've seen that this can work is if we do it like so turn it towards having only one point sticking to this wall now here now we are adding some more problems here well, again we want it to work so we can do it like so but then we don't reach the lower end so it's starting to become problematic but what if we would do it like so again we cannot hit one of the sides and like so again so you need to be sure to take everything with you now if we do it like so again it's the upper corner that we are not getting so, how else can we address this issue? Because we need to separate it in such a way that it will actually perform how we want it to perform. Um, now, if we... wait, oh, I'm getting stuck again. If we try it uh, this way, again, we don't get the other corner. If we put the other single one here, then again we cannot go out and if we put it like so then we are missing actually one 
um, in the one by one. Now, if I think a little bit about this, the solution becomes immediately more clear. If we actually stick the one by one on the very top of it, then we can just go around like so. Maybe you've seen it even faster than I did. Now, we're adding more problems by getting this um, second separate one. Now again, we need to find something that will uh, make it work for us. We do it like so, we are excluding this one, which we don't want, but uh, uh, what if we do it this way, then it doesn't work either. So, it's starting to get a bit more tricky to find the exact shape we want it to get. Because we need to somehow include them, and we get, need to get all the hexagons. Now I believe I found a solution, which is uh, if we actually stick the one by ones all the way down here, and we put the T-shaped one again facing the left. Now this time we have two that we need to stick together, uh, which doesn't make our task any easier, because we're gonna we're going to have to find a way where both both are happy together and where we can. Um, get these well separated you know uh, I mean this I cannot close again so it's all about thinking a lot in these now the way to do this is by sticking them facing left both of them next to each other like so and uh, then that will solve the issue now these uh, need to be uh, separated from each other and actually included in each other while so it makes it uh, a bit tricky because we want everything to be taken into account let's uh, do so but then mm, we won't have the mm, maybe if we put it like well no like so it won't work and then if we do it this way it will not be as we want it to so starting to or again testing our knowledge here now the way to solve this is by putting this one uh, one by three here and this one by three like so and you separate it by going like this and then it works out and you have lowered these stairs so pretty tricky ones, I uh, have to think uh, a lot about it, but once we are up here <coughs> we get to do this one, which we know can get one error, so the way to get this error is we need to make sure we are including it, you know, this one is then in fold and the machine icon works and we've opened one of the tower doors, which is uh, great. Now, we want to do, now what we want to go, do is go inside the windmill. Because I want to show you on a very special room, which we'll go back to a couple of times. I mean, usually when you play it normally, you don't stay away from town, so you'll f you have found this room already, you have found this cave systems, you found that this door cannot be opened from this side and which is one thing that is very annoying maybe you've discovered that you can walk up there but you don't know how to go there just yet and the way to open this is fairly easy we need to separate white from black done I mean self-explanatory right now here's the theater room <laughs> and the theater room has this panel which looks uh, like the codes that we have found so what you want to do is write down different codes. So the first one we had found was this one. And uh, I mean you can watch these. Well, but this one we're actually going to fast forward in and uh, maybe uh, you start at the end by the way. So this way would be the very beginning. But we want to put it so 
that. Yeah, maybe about Very here nice. that gives us enough time By to put ourselves here. Things like that. Now, to this. the green is showing you know up. It is? It's a bunch of amino acids. The stuff no, it's that goes too big to already. A worm, so we need to use the video that. for As to this. Know what it is? It's a bunch of amino oh, acids. It's already too big. Stuff you need to find to the right spot and trigger or maybe I actually need it no in this section it's not a perfect circle so we want the perfect Thank circle you. This. know what it is it's uh -huh. a bunch of amino acids the stuff or maybe not to build up a, a worm or a maybe we need actually the small one or you. showing now uh, this stuff's easier to take isn't it let's uh, see closer people in it. show me the green again this scientific knowledge Yes, okay. This is one of them. Now, the other one is also in this video, very first video. We need to catch the book. And here, okay, this way is showing just a page, see? Or you. This stuff's easier to take, isn't it? Come on, further away. Got people. Ah, uh, missed it. Now these are a bit tricky. This stuff's easier to take, isn't it? Understandable. Got people in. Okay. Now, uh, once you manage to get it, there's another environmental. Now we can't put the other uh, puzzles that I mean solutions that we have found. What is demonstrably true about the world. And uh, well, wait a and the second. reason why so Just many people may be to... thinking about. Here we go. Okay, this is the last one. So it doesn't have any environmental uh, associated what with it, so I'm trying to it's what my teacher said read to what I wrote down. And I'm still. Uh... And this is another one. Uh, this one actually uh, actually has an environmental with it, but we need to go almost all the way. Here should be fine. Very end. And then you get go can go back. And do it here, like so. Basically, from the front it just looks like a star, but from the back there is an extra line or a defect in the theater panel. Now, this was our third puzzle that we found. Let's put the fourth one. Uh, and I believe it is. No, maybe it is like so. No. Nope. Like so, then. Yes. And so, by a backhand, an upside and down this one doesn't have any puzzles. It's just uh, for you to watch if you want. And let's add and our and final in the puzzle. Show indeed that there is. And therefore, like the existence in the world so. of all these oh, other no, elements wrong side. is very closely related to the fact that there is this particular level in carbon. But the position of this particular level or of carbon. Am I wrong? No. After knowing the physical laws. To be a very complicated accident of twelve um, complicated particles interacting. So, so I used to illustrate by this example this way, this that way like an understanding so. of the physical laws doesn't give you an understanding in a a sense of a understanding. Like so. Again, this one doesn't have any environmental puzzle to it, so we are missing only one. And this is, will give us access to another environmental puzzle which we cannot do right now. Here is one of those loose panels. We know already one triangle means only one passage solved. And we have here a couple of more to unlock a door. You know the machine icons require one fault and one fault only each. Now that means we need to englobe this way. We have one white failing on the left and for the right machine icon there is this black who fails and then we have a proper separation now for this one we need these icons to these tetrominoes to make a proper shape but the way you can do so because we don't really have to separate any blacks or anything you just need to find the shape that will actually correspond to something that makes sense. So the way I did it 
I mean you can of course uh, choose it to do like so but yeah wait oh, one second like so because we are basically switching the tetrominos as you can see this upper corner one is below so we invert the upper ones with the lower ones and then it works now let's go out here we are again in the town but uh, in the lower section by the docks and we want to open up this container as you can see we need to create this uh, together to make something that we can recognize and separate the black from the white one so we cannot just do this because the black one will be with the white one but we can do this and uh, if I'm not mistaken now I'm trying to see mm, 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 if I would how I can no I can actually yes if this one likes uh, like so would make one fulfill its requirements but the other one is uh, not really looking all right I mean it could do it so but then I need to separate this one as well to make the proper shape now what if I actually do it like so doesn't work either but uh, maybe if, yes if I do it like so oh no this is actually looking terrible yes like so from this side so the idea was right I was just looking at it from the wrong side there's another loose panel in here two triangles so we need to pass twice next to each to, to them once here once there solved now this open door is very vital for an environmental puzzle that will come later let's uh, come here and start with this now you can see this is something we know already the parallels from the symmetry area from part one and what did this require? It required something that would tell us exactly how high and low to go. Now we use the palm trees and then it works. But you need to line these palm trees up correctly. I follow the cable, goes up here and down below. And this looks like something we know already, like some some shade as you can see here the cable is kinda showing the path that we need to take but then we don't see any further so let's just uh, come here memorize how it is supposed to go so it goes up here and then it goes right and then does some sort of stairs and some stairs back up so like so yes like so and it should well maybe not but then I have just to go all the way like this oh wait wait did I misinterpret it actually I need to check it again once more so it goes so it starts here goes up goes like a stair and then it goes straight till the end and goes up like a stair okay just remember it wrongly so like this and then it goes up like a stair all the way here here we go here we are now we need to follow the other green one up until here and uh, first of all this is a puzzle that we have never seen before but we can see that next to it there is a tree with an apple on it and there are four branching out like from the orchard we know that we need to tell where the apple is now this could be the branches of the tree and these count how many branches we are actually having now if we look at this one where we are at we have one two three four and then one two three four so eight in total now there's only one uh, axis here that has one two three four five six seven eight separate branches and we know that this one is on the seventh 
So it's the lower one. All the other one have some. Oh wait! Oh, it wasn't the seventh. Oh my bad. It was the sixth. Uh, we just need to reset it by coming down here. So same time, you know what happens if you are mistaken. It's no biggie. You just need to go to the puzzle back and restart it. Now oh, it was at sixth. So this is eight, seven, sixth. So this is how you solve it. Follow the pink cable and you come in here. We know that this one is somehow something that has something to do with the shades and we cannot go through the branches. So let's go and find a path where we don't pass through any shade. But this is only one solution to this panel. You can see that it requires three separate solutions. So how do we do it? Well, if we go out here we have another way of positioning this so that we get a puzzle solution now because we can't start in the middle and if we look at this brown section of the vine then we can create a particular route with it we go up around the hexagon and then just the squares to go out that way. Now we need to remember it. Uh, hope my memory will not fail me. So it was something like this. Uh, well I guess my memory failed me. Maybe uh, how did I, let's see how did it look like goes up one after the hexagon, yes. Then it goes all the way, so like so. Here we are, there's the second solution and now we are in need of a third one, but uh, how can we do this? How can we ensure that we get the proper solution? Well maybe if we look at it from another other angle. If we are up here we can see the reflection of the sun. Maybe if I, I want to remove that so that we can see what kind of scrapings they have been performed here. Now, from here I believe I can see them all. But where can I start from? Can I can't start from this corner? I'm not finding the start. I know the ending is on the. Well, maybe. Actually, no. The ending is on the lower left. And. Damn it. I'm too far. I need to go closer to see where the different beginnings are. So, okay, we have one here. And one here. Okay, so this is the one that we haven't gotten just yet. So now that I know it's there, I can. So my eyes are not good enough. And this is not. 190p as well. I'd say it would go like this and then we follow just the scrapings on it. And this is it. Done. The white is on now, brings it to here. And we have uh, the beginning of the solution we can see but uh, we don't have the rest and it's normal. We cannot solve it just yet. We need to get up there. So we'll do that in a moment. Now if you come up here we see that there is uh, some special contraption and that the laser is almost hitting here so what happens if we do like so it starts moving okay so maybe this is just a reflector for the laser and we can bring it up the mountain and yeah that's exactly it but before we do so we want to keep moving it into very particular position ah oh, that was too much already did you see if we put it back the laser hits that cloud and if you remember maybe it was in the very very beginning of this series we saw a particular formation of clouds that would create a line but where we couldn't perform that environmental puzzle because of the black cloud now this formation is somewhere around here no 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 come on let's uh we need to go backwards. Here we are. Right. 
by these stones here and another environmental puzzle is done now let's head back into town There's plenty more to do there it's going to take some time until we finish the entire town but let's head to this building now there is this open door with a puzzle that has no apparent rule on it and as you can see you can try to solve it but it doesn't work but if you're observant enough you'll see that these blue columns and what's on the floor create something that looks astonishingly like this puzzle now considering that this door would be the exit uh, you will actually have to flip the puzzle 90 degrees now this would be the ending and let's say I don't want to go through any grass I don't want to go through any of, any of the obstacles because I cannot go through it I, I just well I can pass physically through it but yeah if I do like so then I get stuck but wait but here there wouldn't be any grass maybe I could pass through here and I would come here and I would start here this would be the beginning of it so where we start the puzzle and remember the puzzle would be something like facing that way because the door is in that corner back there now I would just have to go almost all the way to the right missing one then up then two left and then up again here do a little C like so and then go all the way back down so something like this is what I did uh, is what I did you know this is the path I perform to get through here without touching any of the grass because the grass is overgrowth it means people haven't traveled through there so this is not the proper way but this is how you solve it it's just starting from one point to the other while missing the grass and then we can go up here now up here we can see that we can start an environmental here but we need to do something about those windows and there being blue behind it but that's for later now we need to solve this and we can see there are three one by threes that are also represented here so this is kind of a, a bridge that we want to make work towards the other side now what we need to do first I know how to solve this bridge properly so that it actually goes all the way over but we don't want to do that just yet just wanted to advance it one piece on. Now, once I go down, you'll see what my reason is. There's an environmental behind it. Uh, if you put yourself straight below it, you can do this environmental. Now, once this is done, we can use the bridge for what it actually requires. Now, it's just a question of positioning the 3x1s exactly how you would want the bridge to function. Well, now we're here, have some more of these apparently simple puzzles. Well, this actually is because they're symmetry, so it's very easy for us to separate white and black, but what about now? Well, it doesn't really matter if we separate whites from whites, right? So this works just fine as well. Now, maybe one thing that we need to do here if we do it like so it won't work so mm -hmm. so what we want to do is come all the way here englobe the white one but how do we take the, that white one away Because if I do it like so, then see we are taking too many with it. And if I do it like so, even if I finish it off, it won't work. So, what if we go like so, all the way down, and then englobe it. See? This way it works. Again, now we have an extra challenge. We need to take this hexagon and include it oh, wait a second I want to take this one away now uh oh this will not work 
how I how I intended it to. And this will not work either how we intended it to. So you need to find the right solution that will keep everything well isolated. Now here you can see I'm I'm failing with the black ones. So if we take this white away. Uh, like so but then we are not getting this one and this one this way we will fail see so and this way we are englobing the other black one so what if we do it like so well then it will not work out unless oh uh, no this also doesn't really work to our favor and here we are keeping the other ones together. I'll, I'll have to give some thought to this. Now here we are, it's just a question of going and grabbing all the white ones with the upper and the lower end and keeping the blacks in the middle. And then it works out. Now here I guess we could do something similar but then we are missing again that hexagon. So the way we can only pass through here is if we come down like so, but then we need to keep all the whites in one area. So, uh, what if we take the black ones away? Then we cannot do it like so. And if we do it this way, Again, we are not going through the hexagon that we want to. So this is uh, making us think that if I take the white ones away like that, then it works. And we have opened one of the doors. Now, what we need to observe right now also from here is this particular shade or scraping through the sun. So if we remember it, it's kind of like a Z and then goes all the way down. Then we can rush over, hoping that our memory will not fail. Go up here and start with the shade. And then. No, this was. Did something like so? No, damn it, did my memory fail me? No, that is like so. Yeah, maybe. Yes, like so. Okay. Opened it up another door. So we have already three doors from this that have been opened. Um, don't worry about this door not being able to open it because it's again one of those exit areas that we can only access for uh, way later so you might uh, find it troublesome to do this puzzle it's because you cannot do it you have to start with this one now we know these need to be all together uh, in some particular shapes and we need to separate all of these in pairs now if you put two of these together, you get 3 by 2 If you put it four times that, you get two 3 by 2s and then you get one odd one. But the 3 by 2 and the 3 by 2 that goes down like so, and then you would get an odd one that gets isolated. Uh, maybe we, we don't want that to happen. Because, uh, well, if you put a 3 by 2 here, and then a 3 by 2 like so, and then, well, we have another one like so. The shapes are fine, but we know that these down here are not uh, happy with their separation. Now, we know we can separate these like so. We can have this one go like so for the shape, but then again, still missing one of the separation. Now, what if we do this like so uh, this actually won't work but uh, if we have 
it like so. We have a 3 by 2 up on the upper right corner and a 3 by 2 on this lower right corner and then the odd corner here. And this way all are separated and it worked. Works. Now we can do some puzzles here but now what we can see is we have some yellow filter for this and we can see that we only have to separate these three colors. Now it makes this puzzle solvable. The fact of knowing that there are only these three, three colors. Oh yeah, uh, my bad. I need to still separate those as well. So like, uh, oh wait, if I do it like so. No, it makes it solvable, but it doesn't make it easy necessarily. So, how would I do it? I cannot uh, paint it through here, and if I only take the blacks off, still doesn't separate them. So, mm -hmm. if I separate the white ones. Uh, something I am missing here. Because the yellow color is right. Oh, but these are stars. Okay, yes, that's the thing I was missing. I was only thinking I need to separate the colors, but they are stars. So, what we need to know is that we only need to separate each individual star pair. The other colors don't matter with each other. So, we need to separate this one and this one. Uh, for instance, but it doesn't matter if we keep these in one pack but up here we need to separate them so uh, now this is because we have to separate these white up here and these yellow are the same this blue and black we need to separate this purple and the reds are also the same so we need to find a way to separate them but it doesn't matter if they are in the same group like so as long as this like so is separated as you can see the whites and yellows are identical so this makes that this is a single pair this is a single pair and the whites are a single pair reds are a single pair purples as well and the purple and red match each other and the blue and the blacks are separated as they should be. Now this opened up this door and we know that this one is one of those puzzles that needs something in between us and the puzzle. There needs to be something in between that tells us what the solution is. Now the further we go away uh, up until here we see the what our solution is. Easy. Just have to put this little piece of wood and these pieces and the big piece of wood here so that it separates them up. Now the right light goes away and this opens up the main door. Uh, before we go up the tower though I want to go here. Uh, maybe we can go down first or do we actually is it on? Yeah. Okay so this is a sound puzzle, but we are in a soundproof room, so it's normal that there is no sound because this is even broken apart, so we have no noise. And how do we solve a sound-based puzzle without noise? Well, by, by mixing the clues of both of them, because they both have the same solution. And we know that there are four sounds, and they can have only three different pitches. We know that we have two uh, deep, low sounds, uh, notes, and then one uh, middle one and one high and it's not like we can go how we want through them and this works we, we could also do it like so it works as well it's just one thing the one you do on the right you have to repeat on the left so we have high middle low low so high middle low, low. as long as both match each other it'll work it doesn't matter now, what this orange did is lower these stairs so that we can actually progress to this uh, micro color bunker. Again, I apologize for uh, blind, uh, colorblind people. There's nothing we can do about it. 
Now this puzzle has three separate solutions. Uh, wait, one second. And you need to always separate the three colors with each other. This is one solution, it, it will do the blue one. But this is the other one, it will do the red one. And then this one will do the green one. Now, with these colors you can identify these def different pieces as colors. Now the stars you know how they work and you know how the colors need to be separated from each other. Now I'm going to leave these green though before I start doing those puzzles because I want to go out and I want to go up to this building. Um, well actually no I don't want to go up to this building for the green it's for the red that I want to go up my bad. But I want to come down here and I want to catch the start of this which is here. Oh here we are. And then I can do the green environmental puzzle from here. Now I also want to put it in red which we saw was this way. And by having it in red now we can go up the building. and solve this environmental puzzle. Done. Now this is going to be a piece of work for those two puzzles if you want to do them on your own because you're going to have to switch and the colors and record which ones stay in one color and which ones don't. As you can see, uh, I'll be right back in a moment. Well, I'm back. So someone actually took my notebook with them to work, so I'm going to have to do my notes again. So I, I thought I'd do it actually with you. So just grab a, a notebook and put create two 6x6 six six squares to do both at the same time. And we're going to grab the green light or red or you can start with who you want. but just have a system where you can see which ones will change. So when you have green we can make a, a cross for all those that are also green that we can see as green. For instance the left side is going to be these three and then these two pairs of four so you can make a cross for that, for that on your notebook and uh, the other ones you will not put a cross for. Same goes for here only those stars that are green, the three in the lower right corner and the single one on the left, you put a cross for. Now, uh, then you put it so that you get a blue color and then you want to, to cross check those. Maybe you, you put a circle, let's say, that's what I'm doing for those that are blue. Now, you will see that you will have the upper right corner is cross with circle and those are the ones that actually react to those colors as you can see. So you do the same for the right and you're going to have single circles and circles that have uh, a cross as well. Now the others are basically all the time being black and we need still to get red which is this one and for those you can make a square around so you put the square around you're going to have square with circles, square with crosses, uh, individual squares and square with circle and cross. And you don't do any square if it is black, you know, you don't touch it. Same goes to the right side. You do the square around your circle and cross, your individual square and that will basically separate your uh, colors in, in, in your, your paper, in your sheet. You will have different agglomeration of cross, square and circle and that will basically separate your, uh, your uh, symbols. It will tell you which ones are alike and which ones are not. Now we know 
that we have a complete set of different colors here and we need to separate them all so these lower three are complete separate from this also individual one again there is also these lower three which are only cross and then there is a circle with cross here that you want to isolate want to isolate this one with each other and damn it didn't work uh, maybe if I do it from this side and I isolate it like so and this is also going to spell trouble oh yeah because I just went I didn't go one far enough but it was almost there and uh, this one if I go like so I can separate these like so and then it works and because they are all different colors because you've got different shapes on your your paper I mean now uh, right now here these were all the time black no matter what they changed these on this one only got the square because it was red uh, otherwise it was always black these got square and crosses these got a square with a circle uh, oops these were all square cross and a circle and then these were only crosses and this little one was a cross and a circle so the same goes then applies for here now we know that we have these three are completely identical to this one because they are only squares and these three and this single one have absolutely nothing they, they are completely black they have always been black now we know also these three here and this one are a cross square and circle so they are identical and then these three up here and this one are identical as well now stars don't mind being with other colors we know that already we just need to separate the pairs of the same color now the way we do this is we can uh, separate uh, I'm, I'm thinking we can grab one here of the cross circle and square I'm looking at what I wrote down right we separate this one here and oh, wait a minute yeah we have to catch one of the square and circles so that we have the square and circles oh, actually no um, two of them so that we have them separated and we oh, oh wait there's an issue we want to also catch one of these squares and this has solved it so as you can see so this is a square which we caught matched with this square we have two that have no symbol whatsoever and this black one and black one as well are also no symbol whatsoever these two squares this one and this one are together and then we mark the cross circle and square for these three and this one so this one and this one is in a pair and then this one and this one is in a pair finally the squares and circle this one and this one are together and then these two are individually so this is why this puzzle works and they are tough to understand if you don't grab a pen and paper and, and do them but I mean it actually was a good thing that I uh, <laughs> that someone took my notebook so that I could actually show you more in detail how it is done now we can access the tower so let's do so just uh, go all the way up and let's keep going up, keep going up. And then we need to go more, some more up. And once you are in this corner, don't go further. Just uh, make sure this is in the clear, and then you can do another environmental by looking down there. And then you can go all the way up and finish the town laser. Now we have uh, still a few things to finish off in this town before we get it. We can go up the mountain. Or actually go to do the boat environment which we haven't done so we need to go all the way down and uh, back up here because we need to redirect this laser that helped us with the cloud indeed but we need to redirect it to the mountain let's say maybe uh, come on it doesn't want to get there that one oh and then once I'm in there I fail it okay this sucks maybe if I put myself in a 
better position, a bit closer. Yes. Now, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually so dumb because I'm, I'm putting it there, but I'm fairly sure that actually it's the wrong angle. Yes, that was too, way too much. Come back. Oh, that was way too back as well. I think this one should be alright. Okay. This laser is in. Good. Now, a few envi environmental ones are missing. And they have all to do with standing down here. Now, there is... My bad. Here is one. If you put yourself here, you can do this one. Now, there is another one. If you stand just the right angle with these metal plates, you can do this one. And I believe those are the only two that we can do. I'm going to check the pillar. I think uh, it's it's time by now that we do so. So let's check it out. Uh, if you remember correctly the pillar was here. Now I, as I've told you in the second part because I had that problem recording, I already have this one but we will do it again, don't worry. You shouldn't have it if you have been following this guide. And there are these two that we still need to do which uh, is alright. These also we will do Later on, we will also be doing this and, and this at some point, don't worry. And what do we have here? Oh yeah, we, we forgot one, now that I'm, I'm remembering. Uh, these have these two to do. Also a couple more here, so there are plenty still that need to be done. This one actually we will do down below. So, let's go back here, remember a few that we need to, to be doing. So, we need to go back to the tower, which almost, oh, it was, it's a shame we were already up there, we could have uh, done that one. But. All the way here, oh, maybe we need actually to go one step further. To here and then you can do this one Rem look at how this one actually goes there and that pillar in the back is white so we finished the second pillar here here you go it shows uh, 391 112 plus 2 plus 2 means that there is a second pillar which has been finished so that's great now a lot of these environmental puzzles are going to be still underground so that's why we are not going to be able to do them all just yet so let's go back down and uh, we will have to go and take the boat because for the next part since we have all lasers already we will be doing some environmentals and just focus on those for now there are a lot of environmentals still to be done in this area and this is where we basically will continue later on. I hope you enjoyed watching this 100% uh, uh, guide from The Witness in the town area. I had much fun actually enjoying to you, even if I had to redo some of my paperwork. It actually was still fun and I hope it actually made it even clearer for you. I am Lumi, your guide, and um, Stay tuned for the 10th part coming up after this where we will do a bunch of environmental puzzles using the boat. Thanks for watching, if you like, press that button and subscribe. See you around next time. Bye!